Morrison Waite was born on November 29, 1816 in Limey, Connecticut. He was born into an upper-class wealthy family and his parents were Henry Waite and Maria Waite. His father was a lawyer and a farmer while his mother was unemployed. Waite first attended Bacon Academy in Colchester, Connecticut. Afterwards, he attended Yale University and graduated in 1837. After graduating Yale, he left Connecticut to achieve his career practicing law in Northwestern Ohio. Morrison Waite ran twice for the U.S. Senate but was unsuccessful in both. He then spent one term in the state legislature. Later on, he gained a chief justice position and was considered well regarded. In 1856, Waite built a new firm with Richard Waite, who was his brother. Morrison Waite was also a member of the Republican Party, and by the 1870s, he was considered as one of the best lawyers in Ohio. The president that appointed Morrison Waite was Ulysses S. Grant, who had spent a long time looking for a successor to Chief Justice Salmon P. Chase. Grant nominated Waite in January 1874, and although many politicians did not like Waite, he was unanimously confirmed by the Senate. One of Waite's most famous cases was Munn v. Illinois. The case was developed because in 1871, the legislature of Illinois responded to the National Grange, which was an association of farmers, by setting maximum rates that private companies could charge for the storage and transport of agriculture and agricultural products. Morrison Waite's majority opinion stated that the state power to regulate extends to private industries that affect the public interest. Morrison Waite was the seventh Chief Justice of the United States. He was also a vocal advocate to giving more support for schools for black children in the South. In fact, he, pr he was primarily known for overturning federal laws passed during Reconstruction, which protected African Americans. Morrison Waite died of pneumonia unexpectedly in 1888. Beforehand, the illness was not seen as serious and was actually confidential with his wife in California not even knowing about it. The Washington Post had dedicated its entire front page for him, and a house funeral in the Capitol building was held for him on March 28, 1888. Reed vs. Reed was a court case that opened in October 19, 1971 between a divorced couple, Cecil Reed and Sally Reed, in the state of, of Idaho. The adoptive son, Richard Reed, committed suicide at the age of 19, and they both wanted the property he owned. Sally first filed for, for the property, but was originally denied the rights to his son's property because in Idaho at the time, a man would be preferred to be given the rights to an estate over a woman. Sally felt this was an infringement on the 14th Amendment and appealed to the 4th District Court of Idaho, which agreed that the decision wasn't fair at all. The 4th District Court ordered that the case to be reviewed by the local court, but the order was ignored. While this was going on, Cecil Reed, the adoptive father of Richard Reed, went to the Supreme Court to try and get the order commissioned by the 4th District Court to be removed. When that happened, the judges looked over the case and determined it was originally wrong and a violation of Sally's 14th Amendment rights. The case ended on November 22, 1971, with Sally winning the case. The court decided that instead of having a man be preferred over a woman, it would just be based solely on merit rather than their gender. Having her win the case opened the door for more cases involving discrimination specifically on the basis of sex to be reviewed and ruled in favor of the victim rather than the other way around.